Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. Uh, we're going to get started today by pulling some spirit animal cards, then we'll move into a full 10 card tarot spread using the Rider Waite Tarot. I uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I think I said that already. <laughs> Look at me repeating myself. Um, but yes, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate all of your love and support. When I was shuffling the uh, tarot deck, I did see the Knight of Pentacles and the Fool card, which told me that with anything new that you've started, you may be hoping and expecting some results to your hard work and progress, but I did hear that slow and steady wins the race. And I also saw the Tower card and the Moon card reverse when shuffling which told me you never know how things can shift, you know? On one hand, slow and steady wins the race, but on the other hand, there might be a breakthrough. So keep up the hard work. Don't work too hard, though. It's all about balance. So we have Dove Spirit, which says, Be Peace. I'm hearing from this card that you represent the neutral area, the gray zone. If there's like a one side or another side to a situation or relationship or a conflict, it's like you are the peace in between, or at least that's the, that's the advice anyway. We also have stag spirit, which says take the lead. So you may be required to take the lead in a situation. And you're also being told to believe in yourself with the squirrel spirit here. So we'll see how the tarot plays into these cards. We're going to grab 10 cards first, then we'll start reading. We have the world. The seven of pentacles. Seven of Wands, the Devil, and the Nine of Cups. In the future is death. Doesn't mean that, that someone's going to die, by the way. It just means that there's going to be a lot of change coming in the future. Representing you is the Nine of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords in your environment position. In your fears and desires, there's the Seven of Cups. The outcome is the Page of Cups. With the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So remember how I was saying that you are the peace, the middle zone, the neutral area? The gray, the gray zone, I should say. Um, I am picking up on a lot of other, like another person's energy here. Who uh, has been obsessed with a certain goal. They would stop at nothing to accomplish this goal. Even at the expense of you or other people involved. And uh, this has led them down a dark pathway. We have 777 here. Um, we actually have all four sevens here on the board. And sevens talk about spiritual path, choices. They talk about endurance and pushing through, patience and time. And they talk about many different options available to us. So it's a point in our journey after we've had change and we've readjusted ourselves to change, where we have to decide how are we going to move forward? What is required to get to the next step where we achieve another stage of abundance and balance in the number eight? Or in, when we finally feel ready to move forward? Um, or when we realize we've reached a blockage Or there's a breakthrough. So remember how I was saying that, they, that there's a breakthrough coming here, close to someone having a breakthrough. You never know when it could happen. 
well, this is the breakthrough. Somebody is uh, making some bad decisions here that hurt other people because of their greed, their lust, their, uh, their overzealous nature. And I think you've been waiting for this person to uh, make the next move in a situation that has not reached a conclusion. And the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So overall, this is an opportunity for you because it does bring closure to a situation. It wraps things up. It unblocks things with this Nine of Wands. So you may feel like you were waiting for a blockage to be removed. And somehow with this information or this person coming out into the open with their intentions, um, this presents itself as an opportunity for you to take the lead in uh, and responding in a peaceful manner. Interesting. We have three aces underneath the bottom of the deck. So, uh, what I'm getting is that this person has chosen their own pathway and it's time for you to choose yours. Do you rebel against this person? Do you press against them? Do you fight? Do you uh, make a stand? Or do you accept not their behavior, but their choices as their own and move forward peacefully? Because what comes out of this situation is a new wave of blessings. We have that world card being here. And we have these three aces underneath the bottom of the deck. How about this? We'll take these three aces. And we'll clarify them. We'll clarify these new opportunities that come out of someone finally choosing a pathway in your life. It doesn't feel like it's a good thing that they've done this. It may feel like it's working against you in some way or that someone's kind of revealing their true nature. But I want to see how these opportunities come out of this situation for you. So we'll clarify the Ace of Cups, which can talk about love and reconciliation and and it also has the dove in the cup you know there's the dove here and then there's the dove here so we'll call this the peaceful option option number one is the peaceful option and we've got the two of pentacles coming out and the three of cups with the Nine of Swords. Interesting. I'm hearing the word frenzy. Um, this person creates a frenzy. Chaos. Many people are disrupted by this person's next move. And uh, it's very clear that they are doing something that is ethically wrong. So you may not have to do anything at all. They may run into a lot of obstacles. It's almost like with the Seven of Wands reverse, they get overwhelmed by an onslaught of opinions and backlash to what it is that they are going through. So 
This person's receiving a lot of backlash. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords reverse. Usually that's a no. Like put the sword down. Put it in the ground. Surrender. So we have being peaceful here. Being neutral. We also have surrendering. So that means kind of like giving up in this situation. Let's see what that opportunity leads to. The star card. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Chariot. Oh, that's interesting. Some of you may feel like you just need to give up in this situation because it's been too much and it might seem like it's out of your control. There's no cooperation. There's no teamwork. However, the direction that you head in moving forward from this is blessed. Super blessed. Chariot and the star card. There's many stars in the canopy of this chariot. So um, it's almost as if the fates are on your side. And then the eight of wands talks about quick progress, results, manifestations. So... Um, these two opportunities could actually kind of go hand in hand with like being peaceful and surrendering. I'm also getting with these two threes that there's a blessing that comes out of at the people's reactions to this situation. You know, it, it kind of jumbles up relationship dynamics that you may have have with this individual. Let's clarify the action card, the Ace of Wands. What happens if you take action in this dynamic? Temperance, turmoil, rejection, and success. Four of Swords, disruption. Turmoil, disruption, rejection, and success. I feel like this person wins if you try to uh, react or push against what they're doing. However, this is a tarot reading on YouTube. Sometimes standing up for yourself is really important. So I don't know your own specific situation. However, uh, it's like the situation grows out of control with that Ace of Wands being talking about growth. The Temperance card talking about going out of control. And the Four of Cups being... Um, an unimpressed energy with the crowd next to it, the Six of Wands. So you, you, you don't want to associate yourself with this situation. Okay? Take the lead in a peaceful approach. It's the advice from the Oracle cards. Surrender to what is happening and allow the universe to be your justice, your judgment. Let the universe take care of the situation. Other people may actually step up to the plate and pressure this person into submission, is what I'm hearing. Admission of guilt. Okay, uh, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you again soon.